By the way, you may have seen that I recently launched a Snapchat account. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Those messages disappear all by themselves. That was Hillary Clinton obviously laughing off the email scandal several times over the past year. As I just said, she, her team, had used this bleach bit thing to get rid of, to delete forever, 30,000 emails. Guess who is with us now? Our guest, the creator and co-founder of the bleach bit program. His name is Andrew Zeem. I'm going to call you Mr. Bleachbit. I hope you don't mind that, but I think you're doing quite well with it. Now, sir, am I right in saying that this is, this is a software program and it absolutely deletes forever? There is no way of getting back the emails which Bleachbit got rid of. Is that accurate? Uh, thank you, Stuart, for having me on the show. Yes, that, that's accurate. Uh, however, it is important for... The, the person using the program to uh, use it carefully. There are different ways to, uh, to using the program, but if used correctly, uh, what Trey Gowdy said is true, that even God can't read these emails. So you can go back, uh, sort of re-engineer through various servers where the email messages may have been lodged and get rid of them off a server maybe a couple of thousand miles away. That can be done, correct? Uh, what BleachBit can do is delete the data off of the server to, uh, on which it was run, Stuart. Uh, a challenge for Hillary, though, would be that uh, emails that she sent out to, to the Senate email servers and to other parties, uh, that's beyond the uh, scope of, of BleachBit. Why? I mean, if you can wipe it off one server, why can't you wipe it off others? Uh, whenever an email is sent from her server to another email address, uh, for example, someone at senate.gov, it creates copies. And uh, I assume that uh, Hillary Clinton, even herself, doesn't have control over all those third-party email servers, only her own. So whoever uses BleachBit wants to get rid of the information on a specific server forever. That's the purpose of BleachBit, correct? Uh, People use BleachBit for different uh, reasons. Sometimes someone's just trying to, to clean up their system and make extra space. However, in Hillary Clinton's case, it'd be hard to, to argue that on an email server that she would be trying to, to make extra space. Well, she's trying to cover Especially, something up. Right. My understanding of the timeline is first uh, she was asked to turn over this information to the FBI and then she ran the BleachBit software to wipe her server clean. And in that situation, it's hard to imagine anything else other than trying to permanently remove information and make it so that no one else could find it. Now, since this story broke, since BleachBit became almost a household name, uh, I, I take it that business is pretty good for you guys? Yes, this has been phenomenal. Um, what Trey Gowdy said on Thursday on Fox News is, is priceless. Uh, okay. Traffic is through the roof. Uh, everyone is talking about it. People are coming to, to bleachbit.org and everyone's downloading it. Can I use bleachbit to get rid of text messages? On your phone? Yes. Uh, bleachbit is designed specifically for desktops, laptops, mm -hmm. and it can work on servers too, just like, uh, like her email server. Okay. I'm um, just trying to. <laughs> How much do I pay? Because a lot of people would really like to get rid of some of the things that we've said in messages at various <laughs> times in our lives. You know. Mm. So how much for BleachBit? Yeah, that's an interesting question. <laughs> yeah, uh, I read on CNN, someone was arguing that if, if Hillary Clinton was trying to cover up something, she'd, she'd buy an expensive tool to do this. One of the things that makes Bleach, uh, BleachBit unique is that it's free of charge. So anyone can go and anonymously download it. There's no money trail. You can just download it right now at bleachbit.org free of charge. Bleachbit.org. We there all got go. that? We all got that? Doing I mean, I, I can see how some people would install that permanently to get rid of everything that they could possibly get rid of, to leave no trail whatsoever. I guess people do that, don't they? Yeah, some people run it every day. Yeah. So thanks very much for being on the show. Mm -hmm. It's a complicated subject, but I think we got to grips with it. We appreciate it, Andrew. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart.